enjoyed a ton of indie films. My favorite two, I think, were Room. I was obsessed with Room, super obsessed, and Dope was great too. Mm. What can indie producers do to get kind of a larger audience? Because I kind of think that they fly under the radar. Even when I mentioned Room to my parents, like, what is Room? It's like, Mom, Dad, you have to see right. this movie, and not <laughs> a lot of people hear about these movies. <laughs> And your parents were like, That's Tommy was so, Tommy was so you room. To imitate your parents. <laughs> They're going to go see room now because they brought oh. to their attention. But what can producers do to kind of get a bigger audience? Christian, I'll throw it to you. Because um, you have like a blank stare on your face. No, <laughs> it's, 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 you. <laughs> no it's, you know, look, it's also, it's marketing. And like, you look at a movie that was a smaller film, like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. This is 2005 when this movie came out. And the studios put no marketing behind it whatsoever. It's a great movie. If you've never seen it, it's probably, it's definitely Shane Black's best. It's a, one, a very, it's a gem. But because it was a smaller movie, they didn't put any marketing behind it. They didn't get, and this is still ten years later. And now, with all, with whether it be Star Wars or Marvel or, or these big movies, they a lot of these smaller films get lost in the shuffle. I think there needs to be a bigger marketing push for these films too. I think that if you believe, you know, if you have the big enough stars, you should try to get uh, put them in more theaters too. There should be ways to to expose it more to the audience because, like Ashley's parents, and there's other audience members that are not people who are not the YouTube like. Our audience knows about the smaller movies because we'll talk about them here on the show. We'll see them. They might catch it if they're if they're subscribed to trailer channels. They might see them there. But the mass movie audience is not getting it the way that they're not understanding that these movies are out there. So I think there just needs to be bigger marketing pushes for these films. It's 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 tough because it's there's a little bit of a chicken and an egg scenario go because we can say and and I completely have said the exact same thing you just said you know these these little indie films they don't get marketing pushes therefore people don't go see them but at the same time what a studio or a, you know a, an indie film producer might say is well, we don't believe that this film is going to have a wide audience, so we don't know that we need, we can sink more money into the marketing if we don't think we're going to get a payoff for it. So it's kind of this cyclical yeah. thing. It's it's one of these things where not a lot of people in the general movie going audience will go and check out the indie films, and that is really a shame. I wish they would. If more people would show an incl inclination to go out and, and uh, support these types of films, I think then you'd see producers willing to step out on the ledge a little bit more and say let's let's invest 10 more million into the marketing on this even though they're thinking we're already going to be 5 million in the hole now we're going to be 15 million in the hole i don't know that there's a magic bullet for a long time myself and a lot of the film pundits we've talked about and try to speculate about what what's the magic bullet what's that one solution that will take the world of indie film and get it in front of the wider audience and why doesn't the wider audience want to watch these things and to this day i don't really know the answer to it maybe more marketing is the answer I, I mean, I just don't know. We also can't, if, if you're not coming from a major studio and you don't have big stars in your movie, it's hard to market in the traditional way, but it's 2016, kids. You can go on the internet and market pretty much for free. Like, Dope is a movie. Didn't have a lot of big stars in. I didn't know who the director was. I didn't know the movie was coming out until I heard about it on Twitter first. Then you see Facebook ads for it, and you see ways that people can very cheaply, very cost-effectively get their movie out to the public, and then you can also encourage not only people involved with the movie, but audiences. Like, give them a screening of it. If you have faith in your indie movie to begin with, give audiences test screenings of it and let them say, hey, please tweet, hashtag, do all that kind of stuff. Because people who you're going for that are going to want to see the indie movies, Ashley's parents aside, who are big on Twitter, it's going to be a younger <laughs> generation that you're aiming a lot of these movies for. And by the way, Ashley's dad, the meatloaf was terrific last night. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks you. Thanks you. Well, <laughs> thanks you. Thanks you. <laughs> I would say uh, as far as uh, distributing and making independent films, uh, the Internet is the key to that period because um, you don't have to pay money it's virtually free and uh, that's how we distributed and marketed our film the death of superman lives what happened was pretty much all online we uh we sold it digitally and had physical copies on different platforms nowadays you can sell stuff on vhx uh vimeo there's all these different platforms that are just online hubs and that's kind of where I think the future of independent film is going to go, is it's not going to live in the theater because what you're dealing with is like giant $100 million tentpole films that cost, you know, 15 to $20 to get into if you're taking your whole family and parking and food. You're talking about a hundred, maybe $150 night out on the town. Can you afford that? It depends on like if you're a film lover, if you're a cineastic, you're gonna you're gonna go see movies. You're gonna go like here in LA. You're gonna go to the Sundance Theater. You're gonna see these independent films. But it, you have to you have to do it. You have to be proactive about it. There's not gonna be billboards 
small films can't afford that. And no small film that they spent $5 million on, they're not going to, unless it's a horror film or a specific genre film that they know they can get that money back on the weekend, like The Boy or The Forest or whatever those kinds of films are. They get that weekend back. They really probably cost them like $2.5 million. They throw a couple million into ads. Same type of marketing, viral marketing online, on Facebook, on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So... I mean, I think that's the future. And also we have now we have things that we didn't have 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, all the middle budget movies were already being destroyed and halved and cut in half. No budgets for that. It's either 100 or 10 million. Now we have Amazon, we have Netflix, we have Hulu, all these different streaming platforms where you can actually have an independent film made. There's a real budget for it and it's instantaneous. People know, oh, they want to see that. They want to watch this. Also, there's these things that you could do like expand the it's not a movie anymore it's a 10 part series so you can actually delve deeper into that so i think that's kind of the road well i think that you make a good point as well too because if you look for what people are going to say in regards to the movie theater experience like now we go, well that's a movie you have to see in the theater that you hear that all the time yeah. like star wars the movie you have to see in the theater the avengers i mean there's certain movies that now are made for that big theater popcorn experience yeah. and as you smaller movies like room and other movies that maybe people feel like they could get a better experience watching at home or watching on iTunes or wherever it might be. But I also think something that could be interesting is if you, if because a lot of these movies are, they, the system, like whether it be Fox Searchlight or, you know, or, or Sony Classics, mm -hmm. whatever it is, they should be putting ads or trailers for the smaller films in front of their big ones as well too. Just to get, whether even if people are going to download it later on, but to get more notice on those films. So if it's, you know, if, if it's something from Fox, Fox Searchlight should put one of their Fox Searchlight movies before Fox. I mean, obviously it's got to, it can't be so off in tone, but I think that's a way to bring notice to people who might not know the movie. It does have to be grassroots though. I mean, th there's going to be that element to it. And like, like Christian, you were just at Sundance chilling with Bob Redford. So they have a lot of movies that play there that you don't get to see otherwise in theaters. And Schnapp, it's also a thing where if you made the movie, you have to be passionate about promoting it too. Right. Like you busted your ass. You went to a bunch of screenings. You went to a bunch of conventions. You met fans. So even people that didn't know the death of Superman Lives was coming out, like, oh, I know who John Schnapp is. I want to go meet that dude. Right. And they weren't to. disappointed, most of them. Right, most of them. <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you definitely have to be out there promoting your film. But Christian, what you said, unfortunately, putting trailers in front of large films, it's really hard because all these other studios are like, no, we want our big blockbuster. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. and it's exciting for us. Like, all of us are like, oh, what trailer is going to, oh, what are they going to play before, like, a giant, like, $300 million film like Batman v Superman? It's going to be all these other gigantic films. So sure. that's like the 10 minutes of trailer. I'm talking about something. If Warner Brothers has a smaller film, though, like, before Batman v Superman, Man, there should be at least one spot that's made for that smaller film. It's, it's, it's oftentimes though, it's not even up to the studio. Like there are other players involved in making those decisions. Yeah. The, the individual the theaters. theaters make those decisions yeah. as well. So it's a it's a trekky road. Tr Change it. It's a trekky road. It's a it's it a, is tricky a trekky road. road because you have all these little indies that want to <laughs> do it. Then right. Star Trek Beyond or right. Independence Day, boom, they just right. start hovering the over. Like, we want that two minutes. <laughs> good good transition, Mark. Good transition. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up today with all the stuff we've got going on.